Snow Camp. Snow Camp takes us north to the Sierra Nevada mountains. Arriving at the trailhead, the leader gives some last minute instructions. Then everyone piles off the bus and helps unload the gear. Backpacks, bedrolls, snowshoes, and skis are sorted out. A little touch of sunscreen is also a good idea. Now the groups come together for snowshoe and skiing lessons. Some people get the hang of it easily. Others need a bit more practice. When the leader sees the group is ready, they strap on their packs and they're off. With packs full of snow camp gear, the snowshoers use ski poles to keep their balance. Having warmed up, the leader calls a break to adjust clothing and packs. Staying found is just as important here as it is in the desert. The leader and assistant consult the map and point out their position to the students. They set off again. Only the crunching of their snowshoes breaks the silence. The group heads towards a level campsite with sheltering trees and begins to set up camp. First, they stamp down a large area and leave it to harden. This is where a snow kitchen will be built. Tent sites also need to be compacted. The tents are securely fastened in case the wind picks up. No, this camper is not going to tie the tent to his foot. Staking the tent down in snow requires a different technique. After stowing their gear, the leader teaches the group how to build the snow kitchen. First, a trench is cut for their feet. Ice blocks are removed and chinked to become a backrest. This leaves a bench with a windbreak and a table for food and camp stoves. The next project is a one-person snow trench, a good shelter to build if you find yourself without a tent. The students take turns cutting and fitting blocks. The leader takes the wet job of widening the inside. Meanwhile, another part of the group builds a four-person shelter. Some groups will build igloos, while others will spend the day cross-country skiing or snowshoeing. However, for this group, precision block cutting and hard work pays off with a roomy, well-built sleeping space. With sunset approaching, everyone puts on warmer clothes, melts snow for water, and sits down to prepare their meals. Chicken. Chicken. This is going to be good. The snow kitchen is a comfortable place to relax, talk, and eat, even if you are sitting on a block of ice. After dark, homemade candles or buddy burners provide light and a semblance of warmth. Out here, the moon and stars seem so much closer. But despite the joys of stargazing, the tents begin to look very inviting. Before packing out the next morning, the group shows off their building skills and their faith. They decide to see how many people can stand on the shelter. It survives the whole group. Then they see how many campers can crawl inside. If needed, the entire group could have taken shelter in here. Though your friends may think you're crazy for camping in the snow, Everyone who goes on snow camp knows they have shared a unique and magical experience. We hope this glimpse of the Wilderness Basics course has given you a good feel for the adventures that lie ahead. WBC will challenge you physically and educate you. It will provide you with new skills and take you to remote wilderness areas. So picture yourself in the great outdoors and come join us for the Wilderness Basics Experience.